So recently, Brian Koberger, the individual who was arrested for the four homicides in Idaho, was uh, charged with those four crimes. Uh, but what a lot of people have been talking about lately is the new charge that has been um, laid against Brian uh, Koberger uh, in Idaho. In this case, he was actually charged with burglary to a residence. And people are asking why, number one, why was he charged with this? And number two, why is it important? <clears throat> well, a burglary in the most simplest form is um, unlawfully entering an individual's dwelling, their home, with the intent to commit an offense there. And here in Florida, um, it's a very, very low standard. The language of the statute only requires that they have the intent to commit some offense. In Idaho, it's a little bit more uh, stringent. An individual who enters the, the home of another person with the intent to commit a felony within has then committed a burglary. <clears throat> and obviously the felony in this case is the homicides, correct? Uh, so unlawfully entering the home of these four individuals with the intent to commit some crime. In this case, potentially a homicide, a theft, something like that. People are asking, well, why? Why is this important? Why, why are the prosecutors doing this? And the reality of the circumstance is the prosecutors are adding this charge as sort of a, not necessarily a backup charge, but they want to have every single criminal charge that they can um, stick against Brian Koberger because they, what they don't want to have is once this case progresses, um, their case, their murder case may become, may become weaker and weaker against Brian Koberger. So what they want to have are these, these cases that they know are extremely strong and that they can prove fairly easily. Burglary charge is a much easier crime to, to prove as far as the state of Idaho is concerned, as opposed to four counts of intentional homicide. So while this may seem kind of um, irrelevant or not important to the Brian Koberger case, it actually is extremely important and it's extremely common in, in many uh, criminal prosecutions. The state attorney or the district attorney will include these types of charges that they know are home runs or slam dunks so that they can kind of fall back on those and say, okay, well, you know, we may reduce a charge or we may drop one altogether, but we still got them dead to rights on this other one. Now, I don't think that's what's gonna happen in this case. I, I fully expect the prosecutor in Idaho to uh, prosecute Brian Koberger for these four counts of homicide, and I, I anticipate them to, to um, pursue these charges with, with great effort, um, as well as that burglary case. A lot of people have kind of compared this circumstance to the Daryl Brooks case where he was charged with six counts of intentional homicide and then 76 other counts of you know other other crimes and the question became well, why are you even bothering charging him with these crimes and the answer is the same you know the prosecutor while they may not be able to if they if they feel like they may not be able to secure a conviction on the highest level offense in that case homicide they have these 76 other counts that they can hang their hat on and said, we got them dead to rights on these 76 other counts. He's gonna be found guilty of those. He's gonna go to jail for the rest of his life. So we can just hang our hats on those. Any potential for appeal, he's gonna have to get through 76 layers and it's just not gonna happen. So while this may seem trivial and may seem not important, it actually kind of reveals the, the motive behind the prosecutor um, in the attempt to to include every potential offense that they think they can prove against Brian Koberger to make their case that much stronger.